solving inequalities in one variable. Okay, what we're going to do first is show you how to draw inequalities onto a number line correctly and then how to solve some equations with inequalities. Or not really equations, they're inequalities. Um, so, to start with, we've got to know what the symbols mean. So, this symbol means less than, it points to the smaller number or if you like the bigger end of the symbol is where the bigger number is so x is smaller than 1 so what we do when we're doing this we draw a circle at 1 and then we draw a line going off to the bit that's less than 1 with an arrow now the only thing we've got to then think about is are we going to include 1 or not if we're going to include 1 it would have to be less than or equal to 1 but because it's strictly less than 1 we're not including 1 so we leave that circle hollow we don't colour it in. Whereas if we are doing x is less than or equal to minus 1, we draw a circle at minus 1, draw an arrow going to the left of that, and then because it's less than or equal to minus 1, it can be included in minus 1, we colour that in. Okay, x is greater than or equal to, uh, sorry, greater than minus 4, so we draw a circle at minus 4, draw an arrow, this is greater than, and it's not equal to, so we leave it hollow. And if we've got one between two numbers, we'll just circle at both numbers, minus 3 and 2, draw a line between them. Which ones does it include? Well, it includes the minus 3, because x minus 3 is less than or equal to x, so we shade that in, but it's less than 2, it's not included in 2. Now, although it's not, not necessary, I don't think, on the uh, scheme that this is aimed at, just for future reference, if you had then had to say what integer values x could be, then that means what whole numbers can x be. So if we were looking at this one, it's between minus 3 and 2. You could have minus 3, 2, minus 1, 0, and 1, but you couldn't have 2. So if you had to do the integer values, what whole numbers between those, then you would pick the minus 3 and everything less than 2. OK, let's solve some equations, or inequalities, I should say. But we treat them just like equations. Just ignore the fact that it's an inequality. And most of the time we don't have to worry about that at all. So let's just run through um, how we would solve this equation. Take away 3 from both sides, so get 4x. Um, take away 3 here, take away 3 here would give us 6. And we just write the symbol in, even though we're thinking about it as, a, as an equation. Divide by 4, and we get 6 over 4. So x is less than 1.5 fairly straightforward. OK, one with the bracket in, we multiply the bracket to get 5x, multiply by the 3 to get 15, greater than or equal to 17, take away the 15, so 5x is greater than or equal to 2, so x is greater than or equal to 2 fifths, or 0 0.4. Now, the only time that this isn't true, I should have really put an example in here of this, um, is when you end up with a negative value you say you have a negative number of x, so minus 5x here, and you were trying to find the answer. When you divide or multiply by a negative number, that switches the inequality around, so it comes facing the other way. So that's the only time that it changes. All the other times it stays the same. So here we go, x is on both sides. Take away the 2x from both sides to get 3x plus 3 is less than or equal to minus 9. Add, uh, sorry, take away 3 from both sides to get 3x is less than or equal to minus 12. Divide by 3 to get x is less than or equal to minus 4. If you've got one with two equa uh, inequalities, you just treat them as two separate things. So you would um, you would hide the first one, or maybe hide this one, solve this side, and then solve this one. So you solve them independently. Um, or you could do it both at the same time, the same method is required. So if we're going to take away 3, keep the symbols there, I take away 3 from this one to get 6, take away 3 from this one to get minus 4, and then I'm going to divide by 4 to get x. Uh, 6 divided by 4 would be 6 over 4, and minus 4 divided by 4 would be minus 1. So x is between minus 1 and 1.5. It's uh, greater than or equal to minus 1, but it's less than 1.5. And that's essentially how you do inequalities.